Hello friends! Welcome. Today we're going to be reading a story. Today's story is called Brimsby's Hats. So turn on your listening ears. <clears throat> Once in the quiet countryside, a hat maker lived in a little cottage. His best friend visited every day. Brimsby made the most wonderful hats and his friend would make the most wonderful tea. Together, they would have the most wonderful conversations. When the hats were finished, they sent them to customers all around the world. This was how it was for many years. Until one morning, the friend said that he would be leaving to travel far away. You see, it was his dream to become a sea captain. The next day, the hat maker gave his friend a brand new hat, and it fit perfectly. Then he wished his friend the best of luck and waved him goodbye. The hat maker worked for many quiet days after that, and had many quiet cups of tea. They weren't nearly as wonderful as the ones his friend made, though. It was too quiet, very quiet, very quiet. One day the hat maker realized he had become awfully lonely. So he set out on a walk, looking to make some new friends. He wore his favorite hat. After traveling all day, the hat maker came upon a tree full of birds. He thought the birds would make very nice friends, but the birds couldn't hear him. They were hard at work shoveling the snow out of their nests and keeping the cold wind from blowing out their fires. The hat maker stood there all alone and watched the busy birds as the snow fell and the wind blew. Then after it had grown dark, he returned home through the silent snow. He sat in his chair and looked out the window. After some time, he put his cup down. He gathered his tools and he took down some of his hats. Then he went to work. He worked all night, measuring and marking, cutting and stitching. When morning came, the hat maker packed everything up and carried it through the snow. He found the tree full of busy birds and he worked just a little bit more. When he was finished, the birds had new homes. The hats kept the snow out of their nests and stopped the cold wind from blowing out their fires. Their fires. So the birds weren't busy anymore. They all talked. They talked about hats, they talked about snow shovels, they talked about whether lemon cookies taste better than worms. And when it got late, the hat maker said goodbye to his new friends and walked home. That night, the birds went to bed in warm houses and they were very happy. They weren't the only ones. From then on, the hat maker and the birds would see one another quite often. Sometimes the hat maker would visit the birds and sometimes the birds would visit the hat maker. But every once in a while, they would all take a very long journey. They would travel to a seaside town that was full of ships to visit an old friend. And the large group of friends would drink tea and talk about hats and shovels and ships and how wonderful it was that they had all been lucky enough to meet one another. The end. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.